Bandai just cannot stop dropping and announcing brand new Digimon and Digimon products. So before the next inevitable wave of Digimon news, let's break down some of the most crazy stuff that has been happening over the past month. Before we begin, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Zenin TCG. Zenin TCG is of course your one-stop shop for all things Digimon, but now have expanded into anime like Tokyo Revengers, My Hero Academia, Demon Slayer, and much more. Zenin are going to be stocking a bunch of the Digimon stuff that I'll be talking about today, so stick around throughout the video as I let you know where to get them on Zenin. Alrighty, so the Digimon Vital Bracelet BE got announced like two months ago at this point, and weirdly, pre-orders for those have still not opened. When I did my video saying hey go shop at Zenin, Zenin's gonna have it. We thought so, Zenin thought so and Bandai just never opened pre-orders. But pre-orders did open weirdly on the Vital Bracelet BE 25th anniversary version which of course is supposed to resemble the original Digimon v pet, the same brickwork color and the same original dot matrix style sprites. With the longer straps the new BE 25th anniversary dim, good to see they are still called dim cards they're just for the BE, and a 25th anniversary evolution file and is scheduled to be released in November. Huge shout outs to Wikimon for covering a lot of this. And then we have a dim card breakdown which is incredibly interesting because it's got some familiar faces and some brand new ones. The original Digimon V pets did not go up to Mega, Digivolution only went up to Ultimate or Perfect. And over the years obviously as Mega Evolution became a core tenant of the franchise, Mega's four Digimon and those V pets were introduced or reshuffled but one notably wasn't. So the 25th anniversary dim has Botamon, Koromon, Agumon and Beatamon just like in the past. Greymon, Tyranimon, Meramon, Devimon, Seijimon, Edgemon, Numemon, Metal Greymon, Mamemon, and Monzemon, just like before. But now we have Blitz Greymon, very interesting pick, Bancho Mamemon, and just a brand new Digimon in Shin Monzemon. Just adding an entirely new cosmic Monzemon for this Vital Bracelet Dim card. What the hell? This is a partial bio from Mon Mon Memo. Monzemon took in analytical data on nightmares and evolved, becoming an ultimate. Digimon. It has a childish personality and is quite a moody Digimon. And this is absolutely nutty to me. Shin Monzemon actually combines a few different things. Obviously there is Monzemon and Waru Monzemon, but I feel like inspiration was also taken specifically from Numemon X. And also in the new Mon Mon memo, we got more information on the Vital Bracelet Arena app. And this does seem to be a new app, not tied into the actual Vital Bracelet app. The app is currently under development. And as I said, you could do one-on-one -on -one battles before, but now you can do two on two battles and there's the strengthening and the upgrades and stuff that you can do to your Digimon partner that's being introduced with the BE. They're showing off the sprites of the Vital Bracelet 25th anniversary here obviously but obviously the full color sprites for the other dims will also be here. The interesting things are that we have a Vanguard Digimon, the Digimon that is selected as the spearhead and then there are attacks, uh, W attacks changing to the next Digimon. It's a much more involved JRPG style turn based battle and you can do random matches matches and room matches so we can actually battle our friends organically rather than having to hopefully random chance battles with our friends. Releasing in the fall of 2022, probably in Japan initially and then maybe getting a wider release. This is hugely exciting. And of course, if you want to pick up the Vital Bracelet 25th anniversary and get yourself Shin Monzemon in one format, Zen in TCG has got pre-orders open right now. As I said, the release window is supposed to be November to December. Get your pre-order in now to get guarantee that. And I believe the way this works is there is a removable shell, which is what they're trying to intimate here. So you get the kind of like naked BE, and then you can have the different straps put onto it, or in this case, the brick VPET version. So you get one unit, but with two straps. At the Digimon 25th Anniversary Commemorative Museum, we got a kind of up close look at the 25th Anniversary versions of the BE and the Digivice VV Vital Bracelet BE, as well as the Digimon Frontier Super Complete Selection Animation. Though these are of course just kind of mock-ups, these are not going to be quite what the final products are going to be, and I think we're probably going to see a little bit more from this after the pre-order cycle for the BE is over. But oh, Bandai was not done with Shin Monzemon 4. They also announced the 
digital monster color version. We have had up to this point kind of two full color V-Pets, the Fusion Loader in Japan, the Cross Loader, not the Western release, and the Vital Bracelet. And now we have an original digital monster style V-Pet, but in full color. So it's got the original brown, original gray, this white version, and this black version with Garurumon and Kabuterimon. Brick colored and gray colored has the standard lineup you would expect. In fact, pretty much the exact same lineup as the BE 25th anniversary dim. So yeah, it looks like the digital monster color is also adding an Omnimon, which the 25th anniversary dims don't have. Weird. Yes, yeah, so Alter S has been added to this V-Pet. And with the version two, you get a lineup that is almost exactly the same as the lineup from the second wave of digital monster V-Pets. But with Skull Mammon, Kreskurumon, Ebemon, and Omegamon Alter S also on there. And this is them showing off that yes, there is now evolution to Mega with these Digimon. Alter S is very surprising. They released this little PV, which may be familiar because the intro to it is the digital monster PV that's been around for a couple of years now, which really does show off a big new important feature, and that is that USB-C charging, which hopefully is going to be the norm going forward for V-Pets. And again, this is available on Zenin TCG right now. You can get the classic brown, classic gray, white, or black. So I know for existing big Digimon V-Pet collectors, this is a little bit of a mixed bag. Full color, USB-C charging is great, but the lineup of Digimon has been done to death at this point. We've seen them a lot. It's really up to you whether you think this is cool, whether you want to see more of it. I think it's probably going to get quite a few sales anyway, but I do hope the next one isn't just the X again or something. I hope they do something new with the next one. You can, of course, pre-order that on Zenin TCG right now. I have also heard that Bandai Shop UK is going to be stocking it in future in the UK. Not sure when. Bandai Shop UK is actually on Twitter now, which is awesome. As I said in a previous video on Odaiba Day, Bandai Shop UK and I will be working together on future launches. They confirmed the original color version of the Digimon v -Pet is coming in 2023 in the UK. They also confirmed that the Shodo Imperial Algemon figure is coming. And quick addendum, there was supposed to be a big Vital Bracelet BE drop of news for the UK on Friday, but that announcement has been moved to later date in light of events, uh, and those events are this. So, uh, fair enough. BE news soon, coming to the UK. And I have no idea about the US. Sorry, Zenin TCG's your man. <laughs> but Digimon wasn't done with dropping new Digimon on us. Oh no. As I so eloquently put it, excuse me? Excuse me? Because on September 2nd, Bandai announced a brand new blue Greymon X antibody. But yes, of course, it is supposed to be the X antibody of this blue Greymon, but it takes a lot of inspiration from the Cross Wars Greymon, from the spiky helmet, the spiked tail, even the little weird vestigial feet on its knees. And for a day or so, a lot of us were very confused until Bandai confirmed it is getting its own card in the new Digimon set, Dimensional Phase, which has got a ton of Digimon World Redigitized stuff in it, Tamers, Digimon, etc. So they are finally giving Yuya his own X antibody Greymon, I guess. Redigitized sequel? Probably not. Of course, Ghost Game is still rolling out, and I'm going to be talking a little bit more about Ghost Game in October when we hit the one year mark. Who knows how many more episodes of that show we've got, but it's going to end in 2023, probably, although it could end this year, I suppose, but unlikely. Sometime in the next 12 months, as I've said for a while now. And obviously, Ghost Game is popular because it's being added to Digimon Masters. Yeah, Ruli, Kyoshiro, and Hiro, as well as Angoramon, Gammon, and Jellymon are in Digimon Masters. Uh, I'm honestly more surprised that Digimon Masters has even allowed access to any new stuff from Digimon, let alone it being Ghost Game. Shout outs to Digimon Share for this information. I would not have seen it without them. You'll have just seen my video about Digimon Adventure Zero 2, the beginning, but of course we're very much looking forward to that movie. Oh, and while we're talking about Zero 2, they also have the Digimon Adventure Zero 2 Natural Stone Bracelets. Yay! Get your favorites. These look tacky, honestly, but they're 6,300 yen, so like, these things are $44? <laughs> And if there are more exciting toy updates, which we are expecting over the next few months as we ramp up to Christmas, of course, stay tuned to hear more about them from me. I love covering Digimon news. It's one of my favorite things to talk about. Plus, it doesn't require scripts. And of course, if you like any of these toys or others, for example, if you want the Vital Bracelet BE, we do not know when pre-orders open yet. We are hoping September. Fingers crossed. I think the 25th anniversary pre-orders are going to close soon. So all being well, when they close, the regular BE pre-orders will open and hopefully the Digivice VV 
As I said, the sponsor of this video is Zenin TCG, and I do recommend them highly. So go check them out for all your Vital Bracelet and more needs. They also currently have a restock on the Digimon Vital Bracelet, Digital Monster, Mad Black Raw, and True Shadow Howl Dim cards. And like I say, a ton more. There's some Tokyo Revengers stuff, a Hatsune Miku Noodle Stopper. Who wouldn't want one of those? So thank you all so much for checking out this little news roundup. It feels like it's been a hot second since we've talked about Digimon news. Huge shout out to my sovereign ZDK14, as well as everyone else who supports this channel with their hard earned money. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the video below me, and I will see you next time when we go to drill. Bye bye.